Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 uh, video series. Um, previously, we in the last video, we checked uh, the email accounts and email setup. Now, obviously, if we go to Active Users, our um, can I big make it bigger? All right, so you can see it's growing. The list is growing. The users with the access, it's not that much, and you can see. I haven't licensed them most of the users the reason is that you don't want to license all of the users because you will you are being charged per user per month and since even though it is a trial version I am NOT being charged but uh, to resemble it with the real world scenario that's how you want to do it because if it's $20 a user and that user never office uses the product and you give him rights for a year you just wasted $240 so you want to grant them access and then take it away when it's no longer needed so that's why I am keeping it close to resemblance I'm gonna give a few more users license uh, throughout more videos so let's see this user so this user right here Aslan and this is Aslan H I want to make him the Office 365 administrator. I want to, him to help uh, around. The we maybe have 500 or 1,000 users, and we need more admins. So I click on it, roles. I go to the manage roles, and then admin center. Before he was just a user. Now I'm making an admin. I can either make him all the admin of everything, but no. This particular user, I want him to help me with user management. What is it included is uh, monitoring services health, create, um, creating users, editing passwords, managing users and groups, all that, or create filters. So I click save, admin roles updated. Now it's done. Now Aslan is happy. He has the Office 365 and he was promoted to an admin. He wants to log in and try it out, but it's not this one. I, I remember from the previous video, this one account we used to install. So we're gonna click on a here and go with uh, just Aslan, not Aslan H. So hopefully I can log in. Okay, I'm in. All right, so I'm in. Uh, for me to test it out, that am I able to use the Office? Office products are already installed on this computer, and remember, within a domain anybody can use any computer windows apply settings to spe specific to their username so for example if I log in with the let's do that in another video like if I log in with another uh, user that has not been licensed this product may not work for him so let's go now oh, he's very excited he uh, wants to open let's see what it is he wants to open one note so it's asking you want to use personal or work obviously work so this guy is exciting he is using he is just testing around not uh, in this window it's just uh, Aslan he has been promoted so he is trying things and I'm building up the hype for what uh, the video is about all right so we click he is um just trying out everything uh, just like a normal new user would and he is one note and all that so he thinks hey i should go and check what i have in portal so remember when we uh, logged in with aslan h or any other user uh aslan yeah aslan h we did not get the admin center when we used the Obama we did not get any apps at all I'm assuming that you have watched my previous video so let's say yeah don't show this message stays fine and and there you go so you see so I could give him the time zone. It keeps bugging you. 
very persistent Eastern time. I got my inbox. Probably okay. We just one okay. We're gonna go back to portal and right there. You see, uh, got it. So he got the just one note right here. He created uh, recent like whatever he created. Once you connect your work address, uh, Office 365, everything saves on the cloud, and you see them here or pinned or shared with me. Like if somebody shared document and all that. But one thing different is this admin. All right, so the one thing different is that this admin center, it was not there for as an H or for Obama. Uh, so let's click on admin center. And if you, I cannot make it any bigger. So you see, I have only Azure AD Connect, so I can monitor the status. Or if I click on show all, I get exchange team all admin center normal thing but I don't think so I will be able to go inside there unless these involve some kind of user management I don't have the full admin center and I have a very limited things here I think only that has something to do with the users so let's click on exchange can we go exchange oh so I think you can only access your account and you can only um, edit things out look back in the day and I'm talking about way back in 2000s um, all these uh, social media was in early stage so hotmail it, it had a site I uh, it called I think profiles or something profile.msn.com and what it would do is that if you type in profile.msn.com and at the end if you add the email address if that user had um, added some additional information like city state work information anything like that one that would show up on that web page so it's like you can rather than to have an admin um, added this information for you I think you can do it like whatever they allow you you can go do a little bit of editing here all right so with the users uh, where is the user so now obviously we uh, wanted Aslan to help us with the users and users he has should have access and he has he can see all the user so he's excited he's uh, in the cloud <laughs> and edit username he can either edit his username but how does he change the password that's what we have to figure out that's taking local directory so he cannot change the password can he do something else this is the reset password so he goes all right so he cannot change his own password let's see can he change the password for Obama yes so basically an admin cannot change their own password but they can use any other so he since he's not the whole owner so he has to ask somebody so let's suppose that is that uh, we used Obama in the uh, in the earlier video Obama asked him to change the password and he agrees like uh, I say okay uh, you want to have a new one uh, let me change it for you so he type in the new password for Obama all right he saves it strong he resets it So Obama can get an email, but his email box inbox has not been set up, so he cannot. He's not going to get the email. We close it. So um, Aslan he updates the password, leaves. Now Obama comes. He wants to log into the computer, 
and he knows what his password is he's, he actually called in so he tries to go and enter the password he is entering the new password it says correct incorrect he enter one more time incorrect he said what the hell that guy did not uh, uh, change my password so let me try the old password he entered the old password it works now we saw that uh, Aslan did change the password but it did not take effect on the local Active Directory what happened is that Act Microsoft uh, set up the Azure Active Directory in a way that it's not uh, uh, like that uh, for them it's a step backward to like if you create everything in Azure and then you copy it back to your uh, like you create a user and then you copy all of those user back to your local no uh, that's not the, what they want but they uh, it will be a hassle uh, and it basically they want to um, completely get rid of uh, on-premises things and move everything to the cloud so if you're asking your uh, clients so hey you are using th office 365 good but go create your uh, keep managing everything in your local uh, for them to pro work perfectly that would be a big no so what happens is that uh, um, they introduced uh, something in the uh, Azure Eddy connect that is password write back so that is not customized yet I saw it earlier. We're gonna give the password. I'm not sure. I'm type two keys at once. I hope it works. It worked. All right. So you see. Next, sync all domain. Yes. Password write back this is what we want so basically what it does is that whatever <coughs> it was unchecked so it was not writing back the password but what it's now it's what it's gonna do is that if an admin changes a user's password in the cloud it will be right back to the local directory and the time frame is 30 minutes that uh, um, um, Azure ID connects runs every 30 minutes the synchronization process so if a user is uh, not uh, logging in they can try after 30 minutes and it will be logged in they will be logged in so this is the thing but uh, right now because we're gonna run it so it will be sync now and then from uh, from then on it will be every 30 minutes but this only writes the password back it does not write the whatever users you create in the cloud unless the uh, for popular demand they give in and uh, give you an option so now it's configuring it's writing back everything password write back enable so now if I this is Obama and yeah we were talking about like if Obama is able to use the uh, uh, these products or not let's run PowerPoint is he able to run the PowerPoint except close blank presentation so he has been given a few little bit access Barack Obama you see here but if we go to Outlook it's complete so if now we ask him hey uh, Obama can you log out and log back in and he said okay uh, and since he is a user he might throw at you I hope this works this time and all that so you just have to now I'm entering the new password 
Oh, no. <laughs> Still not working, okay. So it means that uh, the, I don't remember what the uh, message was. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait uh, 30 minutes. I'm gonna pause the video. We can actually check uh, if it has been 30 minutes or it's still going on with the old clock. When was the, zero minutes ago, last night. So essentially my password should be is it still zero or one minute one minute ago that's right why it's not working no that's uh, restart so we restarted the computer now we're gonna try one more time with the new password and it's saying incorrect why I'm gonna see if it's uh, I have made now slash if that's what happened and yeah so that was it oh come on you're killing me I'm not even sure that what's wrong with this So I'm going to check everything one more time here. User right back disable. The password right back enable. So user right back <coughs> is possible. So it looks like user right back is uh, mm, possible. We can exit. Um, let's do. from the commandlet the great <coughs> god set ads Y N C No. So I ran the configuration step one more time. I'm gonna exit this one here. Try to log in again. nope let's try let's try if I have the correct I'm using the right password for not so I asked the user hey can you give me your password so so I can log in on my end he said yeah sure this is my new password that was given to me and we go to portal.office um, we say Obama Enter the new password. And 
we are logged in. Oh. Okay, so we learned something new. When he changed, I think what we what happened is that uh, but that should have been. Let's see, current password. I need new password. So it's a sign in, all that. All right. So we can on. All right. So we see it's not working. So we tell him, hey, it's uh, there's something. Nope. They cannot. Again. So only the actual and real password works. I think I'm getting to the bottom of this thing. So let's go and see what password he can use here. I'm gonna use the old password. Yeah. it's not working I'm gonna use the password that the guy changed and now he is being asked to change the password no you're gonna get the same error message here so only an admin can change the password right now all right so I think what's happening is the issue is in here in AD connect and the issue is I'm just assuming this may or may not be the case you see imran.local so we have to add I mean name um, let's say I made dot org and give it the password what's the admin I hope this is the one validating nope so that was not it this is painful excruciating So that was not it. That is indeed our forest. So my theory failed. Let's go to office and let have the user. Let uh, Mr.
Oh, there was a next step, right? Let's go back. Oh, Mama should be able to log in with the new credential on office site. It worked. So for office, he's logged in. Run Azure AD Connect one more time. Let him sign up. Ask him to sign out. This one is the imran.local. Okay, let's start to configure. Let's try Obama new password. Come on. I'm tired. I'm, I'm going to research it in the morning. So apparently I cannot sleep because of the clock cuffing. So I have to kill the next half hour. I read up uh, on my phone and I did um, read a line that uh, on Microsoft documents that this functionality is not supported from the admin portal the office of admin portal that means that where it is office 365 if the admin can go to azure click on users password reset so this is not today's topic we're gonna go with the all users and click on Obama and find a way to reset his password right here So this is why it was not working. I have to have E3. All right, so it has to be E3. That's why it was not working. But that's, uh, you got the general idea. That's how you change the password and it writes back on the back, um, on your local Active Directory and um, it gets written back and updated. I will try to update to E3 
if it allows me but uh, I guess that solves my problem now I can sleep better thank you for watching this video it's been a huge trial and error but I learned something and learning is always good good night